What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over this problem called get value, get node value from, get node value, okay. So basically we have a linked list and uh, we have a position from the tail, right? And um, from this tail, we want to get the, the number at the desired position. So here we have three, two, one, zero. And now we want to get the number at Three two one zero. We want to get the position from the tail. So in this case, we have three two one zero. If I get the position of two from the tail, it would be zero one two. So the value two is at the desired position two here. So zero one two. So we're starting the cow backwards is at position zero, then one, then two, then three. Okay. So I'm going to use it. Uh, I did. I solved this problem differently than how other people solved it. So I, I'll show you guys what I did recursively. So I actually created a helper method um, and passed by reference for this integer position from tail because I wanted to modify this. But basically I had three. Let's say we have three and two and one. And this goes to null. Right, so I what I did was I recursively called and kept going to the next node. So three, then two, then one, then null. Once I was here, the stack trace is gonna go back, right? The stack trace, whenever you recursively call a function, it goes back to the previous thing. So what I did was every time I went back by one, I'm gonna subtract one from the position from back. This position from back, right? So we're given like this fun this method position from tail, right? So every time I jump back, I just subtracted one every time after the recursive call. And then, um, so like if we had like, I don't know, three, two, one, null, right? Then after this recursive call, it jumps back. I'm gonna subtract one from position from back Right, so let's say I was at like, let's say I wanted at position two, right here. Three, right, position two. So position two is starting from two. So I keep going to the right. And when I get back to here, when the stack call gets traced back, I subtract one. So then this is going to be at one. Then I subtract one by one again. So it'll be at uh, zero. Oh, wait, no, first, first it's null, right? Uh, I subtract two minus one will be, uh, which is one. So when it returns back, I'm going to have two minus one. So I'll have one. Then when the stack trace goes back, we'll have one minus one, we get to zero. And then, um, yeah. And then, oh yeah, I think, I think it's like when the null goes back to two, two, one. And then after this point, I think it goes back and then we have two minus one minus one, well, which we get to zero and then we just return this two. Okay. So like for me, I did like less than zero, but after the recursive call it goes back, it goes something like that. Okay. So I'll show you guys what the code I mean. Okay. So, so you have get node. Um, I had a helper function that has the exact same method signature, except I have, um, Pass it by reference because I want to modify this position from tail number integer. Because if I don't have this, what happens is that like it would it would um it wouldn't get changed. Like position from tail, the position that I pass in over and over again, that wouldn't get changed. So that's why I have I pass it by reference. So here's what I do. Um if the list is not equal to null pointer, I'm going to recursively call this method and keep going next over and over again, right? Keep going next, keep going next, keep going next. All right, um, once I reach null pointer, I'm gonna return zero, okay? So if I reach a null pointer, when I reach the end, I'm gonna return zero, okay? If my return value is not is um, not equal to zero, then I just return it, whatever return value I had. But um, yeah, uh, otherwise what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna subtract one from the position from the tail so if I'm at like, I don't know, if I'm at all the way on the back, right? 
I'm gonna subtract one from position tail, so it'll be, it'll be one. And then, yeah. Then uh, if it's less than zero, if my position from tail is less than zero, that means I'm at the, uh, the actual node, that the node data that I want to return, right? So at this point, I return the list's data, okay? But if it's not, then it'll go back up to the top and we're cursively call. And I'm just gonna keep subtracting one from position from tail. And then, uh, yeah. If it is if it is less than equal uh, less than zero, then I return the data, and then it goes back to this return function. And if it's not equal to zero, my my return value is not equal to zero. I'm just gonna return returned. Okay, so yeah, I just returned that number again. So yeah, that's basically the gist of my, this uh, function call. I pass in help also, and I pass in position, and I pass in the list. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of how I did this function call. You don't have to do it the way I did. Basically, I'm just going next, next, next. And then every time I go backwards from the stack, I just subtract one from the position of the back until I reach to the node that I want to get. And then at that point, I just return it. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.